Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to a whole other episode of Metro Sim Hustle. Wasn't last episode a very spicy one? I don't think I'm going to be able to top it this this time. But, uh, dude, last episode was kind of a banger, I would have to say. If you didn't see the last episode, I would highly recommend going back to the last episode of, uh, of some crazy stuff. Uh, I've been told this is... Yeah... <laughs> I've been told this is like the guy who used to live here and now he's dead. Now if you stare into his eyes, his sanity will go down. I highly doubt that's what it is uh, because if you take a look, the pose is different uh, depending on how we open the door here. Uh, last episode, it was like not looking like that. But anyways, it, it's good fun, right? That's good fun. I like that. I like that energy, that enthusiasm. Now our sanity bonus or our sanity bonus, our sanity is very low. Um, we could like jump into some vodka. <laughs> And have our way with that um, or not uh, but <clears throat> there was a comment left that we did we did forget a few items at the last apartment yeah for sure we definitely did forget a few items at the why do we have two bathrooms like honestly is that necessary for us probably even not uh, but we did forget some stuff at the old apartment which we're actually gonna go back and take a look just to see uh, what we have hell we might be even helping our sanity there might be a pack of cigarettes there that, that we have for all I know who freaking knows? Uh, but in today's episode, we're going to be trying to do uh, the sewer mon monster for sure. The Elon Musk uh, quest, I believe, as well. Uh, yeah, that's like the big highlights, of course. Um, obviously, we are selling cocaine at a, at a reasonable rate here very soon. We're going to be making $50 on that. Uh, other than that, let's see what we have. We have... Um, about three hundred or six hundred and thirty-four dollars, which in return we should be getting uh, three hundred back. So we're gonna have like nine hundred dollars, give or take. Uh, we have nine hundred dollars, I should say. I'll, I'll just say it now: we have nine hundred dollars right now. Um, it's just not in our bank accounts quite yet. We'll definitely take the four dollars. I mean, what's four dollars? Forehead could be bigger than bigger and bigger, better than you think, right? I don't know. There's a chocolate bar. There's some beer. Let's walk out. So let's head on over to um, the old apartment first, just to see, just to see if there is any cigarettes that we left behind. Maybe I have a feeling we we might have, we might have. Now I think I remember putting a, um, uh, putting like cigarettes in the microwave, and you know, m more or less it does the same thing. It, everything is the same when you put stuff in the microwave. It seems like in this game, but that's all right. It's going to do this. And uh, let me adjust the camera a little bit. I'm having a little bit of camera issues recently in the last couple of episodes. There we go. I think that's fine. I hope. I don't know. We're going to find out together, I guess, in the post-production. Anyways, let's go to the um, yeah old house. We do have you know our stuff just chilling here, I think. Let's check. Yeah, a bunch of lock picks, I think, is, is it. And, like, you know, a chocolate bar, a protein bar. We could get drunk. <laughs> I mean, we don't have cigarettes. We actually should have a strong beer. If we have a strong beer, our sanity might go up a little bit here. It is going to make a little bit things blurry. Not a lot of um, sanity there, which is uh, honestly wasn't worth the vibe. Now that we've done that, let's actually do the bottle bottle of vodka. Let's actually just chug it. Okay. Okay. Um... This is all sanity reasons, like nothing else but sanity. I like how your hydration doesn't go up when you drink alcohol. I respect that. <laughs> okay, so there we go. We, we've drinking a lot. We've drank a Oh my god, dude. Look at this craziness. How many lockpicks do we have? We have about two on us. Let's maybe like grab like, I don't know, maybe two more and we'll leave the rest. Other than that, I think everything is fine. I cannot believe what is happening. I do, like, I, I apologize, but, like, at the same time, we already know what was happening. So I'm going to walk out. I apologize for this. People, if people get motion sickness, blur, or just hate, it just gives them a headache. This is temporarily, temporarily going to happen, you know, happening right here on screen with the blurriness. It'll go away. It'll go away hopefully soon enough. Maybe. <laughs> but I'm going to try to work my way if I know where the hell I'm at. Yeah, I'm gonna try to work my way to the um, to the uh, to the sewer monster because that's might be my first go-to. I know you can't see anything. This is kind of crazy. Probably an entire bottle of vodka would make me feel this way. Yeah, yeah, you're probably either dead or something. I don't know. We might die here. We might just get alcohol poisoning for all we know. But uh, yeah, I, I, I really want it to be like full screen and everything good to go when we go into the sewer. So what I might do is just I might uh, just 
wait until we have clear vision. So I'll be right back. All right, so we are back here now with the um, sewers done. Or sorry, not with the sewers done. With the uh, with the blur done. And let me just say, I was sitting there for a good 10 minutes waiting for that blur to go away. So in, if you guys, I would not recommend doing what I just did. Do not chug a bunch. That will be very, very bad. Indeed, very, very bad. So don't do that. Um, you'll be sitting there for, for 10 minutes. I, had, I went around. I even went back to our old the crept in like building and like our homeless building and i even slept to try to sleep it off it didn't even go away after i slept so yeah that effect lasted a long time so i would not recommend that one bit anyways let's go ahead and talk to our sewer monster hopefully we can get him in good spirits this time we are not afraid of him anymore hello so there we go. Just wondering about my, or wonder about to begin my daily hunt, but I would be more interested in a conversation. He's a really nice guy. Uh, we did this one. Please don't kill me. Ah, oh, dang it. I'm not here to hurt you, my friend. You may find yourself more likely to fall into harm's way on the ugly back alleys of the city. Uh, last time we did is this full of weird monsters like you. Let's not do that quiet odor. Do you mind smell? I'll cut to the chase. Damn it. All right, so it's a rancid smell. All right, my friend, as much as I would like to support you, I am destined to live underground, away from the hustle of the city. I wish you luck fulfilling your needs. Uh, why are you covered in blood? My friend, I apologize for my presentation, but as a hunter, I am usually on the move, searching for my next meal. But do not, but do not fear. My breed is not hostile towards humans. It is always a pleasure to converse with a human like you. That's nice. Good for him. Good for him. <laughs> Uh, do you have any friends? My family and friends. Okay, we, we know that. He, he likes the family and friends thing. He does have family and friends. So that's good. And then, uh, humankind, nice meeting you. All right, so there we go. His relationship is one tier better than it was when we started. So there we go. At least we have that going for us next time we come. Now I know exactly what... I, I'm pretty sure I know exactly what chat to use next time we come as well, too. Is, so... We should be able to finish that next time we uh, next time we talk to the gentleman. There's a lot of different doors here, isn't there? So that's the most we can do here. Um, and I think I have a feeling that that drawbridge has something to do because he did. I think it like I think he mentioned something about um, some man with the uh, underground thing thing doohickey thing. I don't know. Actually, what am I talking about? We already t we already completed the Leon Musk thing. Uh, however, however. We did do the flowers. I don't know why I said however, but we did do the flowers. And we did do something else. I forgot, I forgot all that we did. But I think most of the quests are gone or done. We've done the furniture store already before. We've already done that. That was a long time ago. We've done Natasha, which is at the posh. Now... Where else? Hotels, hotels. Somebody did mention a hotel. But what would be considered the hotel? Like, is this considered the hotel over here? God, there's like a rave down there. I'm telling you, something's happening that we don't know about. There is a... I, that's probably what's in that drawbridge, I'm thinking now. That drawbridge probably leads to that big rave. Anyways. Um, I think... Shore Towers. We'll go to Shore Towers. I think we still have something to do with a laptop in here. So we can actually hack into this. Which is going to be more difficult. Easier said than done. Because I'm not very good at this. I think. Right? I'm pretty I'm pretty sure there's something to hack here. I just remember the text messages and something saying about a laptop or something. Rather. But we'll do that. We'll see if we can get lucky here. 16. There we go. Dodger and Bluff. Good to see you. Be back. Uh, good to be back. Let's just go into here. I think it's in here, right? Laptop. Can't hack this computer. Now, let me actually double check. I thought it did say. Maybe we already completed all the hacks and, and all that. Let's see. So, Bruce Glutman. Yeah, we already... Oh, we got the pervert guy. That's who we got, too. Unknown sender. Got a big one for you. Some head of security adult left a laptop in the meeting room at Dodger and Bluff. Get me the files, and I'll make sure you're paid. Uh, this is the laptop, I'm pretty sure. And this is the meeting room, I'm definitely sure of. I do not think there's any other 
places in here that have a oh no that have a meeting room with a laptop i'm pretty sure that's what it is but we cannot hack this computer okay all right that's fine that's okay let's continue and let's through these doors i don't think these doors open here yeah no yep i don't know i don't know i couldn't tell you about that one so let's go ahead and leave here all right it's going to use the elevator thank you so much so we got everything that we needed from our old house right well i mean there's only a few things like a lock pick and some alcohol i think we actually left a bottle of whiskey there this time too so we got everything there what else do we need we we could play games of course at the teddy casino uh, oh, the uh, the bouncer, right? The bouncer at the strip club. We got to figure out that whole ordeal. Yeah, so let's figure out that whole ordeal. <laughs> so we'll head on over to the bounce house. Uh, we still only have the average license, which I don't know if I don't remember if we actually used the average license quite yet. We might have. We might have used the upgraded uh, the upgraded uh, train, maybe 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 not i'm not sure gas switch do we do the gas switch no we didn't do the gas switch right i don't think so at least i wonder if the gas switch has to do something with the sewers down below not like these sewers but like the monster sewers where the the drawbridge goes maybe 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 baby we'll go in here just to see just to see if there's any more like good stuff like a lottery ticket some food anything oh my god Lockpick, honestly, I don't need that. Yep, we'll take the chocolate bar and we'll take the blueberry soda. And that's pretty much it. Now let's go ahead and pipe up our hy hydration here. There we go. How's our nutrition? Yeah, we could have a chocolate bar. Maybe a couple. Maybe a few. Maybe four. All right, there we go. Cool. We still have an entree, which is good. We have an entree, a cookie, and a protein. Protein shake actually gives us pretty good hydration as well, too. All right, so let's go to the bounce house and uh, let's see if we can get into this bouncer's head. Maybe to see something about a special room or the room behind him or something. I don't know. I don't know. We're going to find out together, I guess. This is like one of the hardest people to talk to is the bouncer. I don't know why. It's just very difficult for me. Let's go Carlos. We got we just got the action for you. All right, so this place is trashy. I expect as I expect. Take my money. Um, okay, good. I'm going to pretend like I didn't hear none of what you just said, except that I'm going to take your money. Now, you have a good night in there. You don't have to try to intimidate me. I'm just here to blow my paycheck and pass out. So you want to pay $20 to see what's behind the mystery door. You must be wealthy. Is it true that you can always judge a strip club by its bouncers? I don't remember this one. I don't remember. Ah. Uh, um. He hates it. All right. I ain't trying to intimidate nobody. My job is to put anyone in their place who can't take care of themselves. Um, did you build all that muscle before or after you got this dead-end job? You run a tight ship here, Carlos. I bet there are more weirdos, weirdos hanging out at the shitty sushi bar than this place. He likes that. Okay, cool. I know nothing about no sushi bar, but I'll take that as a good good nod of, an, of spirit. Of good spirit. Man. I'm sick of this place already. I'd rather drop my cash at the weird arcade down the street. Uh, do you have a refund policy at this establishment? I want to know if I'm getting worth every dollar I spend. He hates that. Okay. All right. Um, there we go. There's your $20, dude. Okay. At least we got a little bit of, like, relationship with this guy now. Now, there is, I think, a couple people in here that we could talk to. Like, Marvin. We haven't done Marvin's quest. Oh, this is the doctor. I run a medical practice. If you need treatment, I will take care of you. Um. Yeah, hi, you're a doctor, right? He likes that. The good news is I am a doctor. The bad news is I'm not here to answer your questions unless you're willing to pay me by the hour. If that's the case, you're welcome to browse my clinic selection of surgical procedures. Um. Wait, didn't you have have me on a gurney the other night <laughs> good thing you're you're here i usually see someone get shot or go down with a heart attack on this corner oh god i don't even know what to say look just give me a lot of whatever you think i'm withdrawing from i don't think he'll do that um yeah he likes that 
That may be so, I see many faces in the city on a regular basis, as my medical practice is known for exemplary, exemplary, I'll try to say that, patient care and rehabilitation. I don't have a degree in medicine, but do you figure I could help out at your clinic? Um, you have medical marijuana cards, right? I need to pick one up for my friend. He has glaucoma. <laughs> I'm not sure why anyone bothers to see a doctor anymore. You can literally just diagnose yourself online. Uh, I don't have it. Maybe ask him for help? Yeah. My initial thoughts of such a pr proposition are not in your favor, unless you're interested in cleaning up urine and dry blood off my operating room. In that case, you're welcome aboard. Shouldn't he be fixing uh, people's health? I mean, no wonder everyone around here looks like shit. Just to let you know, there's a drunk, easy source of income with a blue shirt that hangs around the local club. You should go back with fixing people immediately. I think he'll like that one. Yeah, the income one. I knew he would like that. May I ask a favor? Yes, I've been looking for work. Excellent. Please, listen closely. I've made offers, or I've made orders, for several boxes of medical supplies to be shipped to my local clinic. However, due to the certain circumstances, the packages have been sent to various drop locations throughout the city. I needed you to collect the, all the packages and return them to me. They are usually marked with blue tape, so they will be easy to find or to spot. You can look forward to receiving a monetary gift should you complete this assignment without fault. So five boxes is how much we need to find. So five boxes. Josh, look, Josh is done. Okay, don't look at that. Uh, Mark, Mark is done. Policeman, policeman is done. Daniel, Daniel's done. Now this gentleman right here, Don Hoffman, someone we haven't talked to yet, or haven't gotten our relationship up with yet. You in the right place to relax here. Make sure you go upstairs too. Great, another bouncer. How many juice heads? No, no, no. Please don't kick my ass. I'm just here to get drunk and pass out. No. Hey, I was looking for you. You wouldn't mind if I sell some stuff in your restroom, right? He hates that. Okay, so he doesn't like that. I'm about to ask the bartender got any tips. You look like you're really you're ready to kick my ass and okay, no, I was going to visit this place earlier, but I had to find money for a a, a tetanus shot first. Now where I get now where do I go to get to the private dancer? He likes that. He, he has good humor. We good. Head upstairs if you're looking to relax. Okay. What is upstairs? Some kind of trap? You see the girl sitting over there at the bar? The one in the black dress? She touched me in an inappropriate manner. Would you mind joining me in the restroom? I feel like I'm going to stab... I'm going to get stabbed and molested in there. Okay, he likes the upstairs thing. You're going to find the games upstairs, partner. Best to grab a drink before you head up. Get a private dance if you want to as well. All right. I lost all my money playing blackjack, and now I can't pay my rent. Mind if I sleep on the sofa upstairs tonight? If you're wondering who pissed all over your washroom floor, that's me. It wasn't me. So I get it. This is a club. But why is there a condom dispenser in the washroom? Actually, that is a common thing. Like in nightclubs, there is like tampon dispensers, condom dispensers. That's a that's a common thing. Um, I lost all my money. He hates that. No patrons sleeping on my. Okay. All right. Uh, this is a good club. It's a really good club. Really good. Bye. He likes it. Okay. Well, at least we got his relationship up a little bit too. So him and Carlos, we have our relationship up a little bit. So let's see here. This man is done, right? Yeah, we're done talking to that man. Arena, she's done. Scarlet, she's done. Natasha's done. Uh, the bartender's done. So those quests are done. Now, I don't know if the private dancer herself has a quest, but we'll go up there and talk to her. Dun, 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 dun. Let's see. Lacey Sims. Oh, yeah, she did. And we're actually done with her as well. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and play a little bit of blackjack while we're up here. 12. Hit me. 18. Stan. Okay, we lose 25. All right, let's deal again. 11. Hit me. Stay. Push. Okay. Stay. Win. All right, we broke even so far. Stay. Okay, we won 25 bucks. Walk away while you're up. Walk away while you're up. Something a lot of people have a hard time doing. But I do not. I do not have a hard time doing that. All right, how the hell did we get out of here? Go this way. Okay, we are done with the bounce house. So there is a couple characters in there that we need to do. Not do, do, but like, you know what I mean. We need the two bouncers. We need to get friendly relationships with the two bouncers. We do have a quest right now. We Well, we have a couple. Well, not yet. We almost have a couple. I almost I almost mentioned the sewer monster as our, um, as our quest thing, but we don't have him quite yet. 
Uh, but we do have the doctor's quest, which is uh, blue boxes of some sort, right? Blue boxes, or no, not blue boxes. Boxes with blue tape on them is what we have or what we need to find. Now, he said they're going to be somewhere in just anywhere at different locations. I don't know exactly. I don't know if they're going to be inside or outside. So that's a little interesting. Let's go ahead and check on our cocaine here. Five hours until that is done. That's all right. I'm all right with that. Eventually, that will be done. We'll, 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 we'll go from there and all that. Now, there is a giant spin wheel in the casino that we haven't done in this playthrough quite yet. And I, I really would like to. But you need casino credits, like points. And the way you get points is if you, you know, you bet in the casino itself. 980 points, I don't believe, is 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 right. I think you need like 2,000 or so to 2,500 maybe, maybe, right? So we're going to go around town. We're going to see if we can find any boxes, any boxes with blue tape. It looks like there's a box over here, maybe. I mean, there's boxes everywhere, but it needs to have a blue tape. Did that get dropped off at the penitentiary no okay that's just a box just sitting there okay so i don't know if they're inside or outside right that's the only problem maybe inside let's go into the arcade maybe even play a little bit of an arcade game too we haven't played an arcade game in a little bit let's see lock locked hello do you have a box in here oh wait we haven't done this guy's quest either teddy's so this is another <clears throat> this is another gentleman that we need to get on good side with so hello teddy i don't think we have these machines require a tremendous amount of labor. All right, so got any, any hot dates tonight? You look like a real stud. You're living the dream, dude. I know he likes that. Well, thank you. I do enjoy it here. I'm pretty sure all your arcade machines are rigged. Uh, maybe more people would visit if you lowered your arcade prices. What are you going to do? Open a maze, maze, or is it just a big lie? Uh, all right. I'm still working on the maze. Be patient. All right. I'm probably your biggest customer. You should give me free stuff. No. Uh, so what's your story anyway? How did you end up with all this? He likes this. My parents died in a tragic accident when I was young. So I spent most of my childhood with my grandmother. I have always enjoyed tinkering with plushies and machine parts. I suppose that evolved into love for arcades and the wonderful children that visit. That, I don't know. Okay. All right. I'm not even going to go into that. Uh, do you ever go outside? There's a club on the other side of town. I need a wingman. Maybe if you get the hell out of this dump. Do you ever go outside? I like to visit the local store for my milk and cereal on Tuesdays and Saturdays. On most evens, evenings, I enjoy a warm cup of green tea. Okay, all right, today I've learned a lot about you today. I'll see you later. I better be on my way. See you in hell. This is a great place to hang out. I But I'd rather down a quart of gin and stare at the moon. Bye. Oh, it's the top one and the bottom one. Okay, top one. Wait, before you leave, can you please help me with something? Absolutely. What's up? So five. Excellent. I've misplaced my machine lubricant. I've had about five bo bottles in total. Can you find them? It may have been it may have been that man with the black sleeveless shirt who took them. I'm sure it was by accident though. In any case, can you please return them to me? I will reward you. Absolutely. Now, do you have any like cheaper stuff? Now this MDMA die, he is actually selling for cheaper. So this is typically a hundred dollars. We could buy it off of him for uh, $85. We don't need it right now, but, you know, we, we could. We could buy it off of him if we wanted to. Yeah. He's selling cocaine for $11. Jesus Christ. Can I actually sell you? Maybe not. I don't have anything to sell. So, lubricant box with uh, blue tape is something we need to find. Which also, you know what? Let's at least play one game of each here. Okay, seven tickets. Let's play again. I swear to God, I want to hit that jackpot so bad. I want ten tickets. I want ten tickets. Oh, that's because it's there. I find it impossible. It's probably impossible to hit the jackpot, right? If you've ever hit the jackpot, please let me know. I call BS. Okay, let's do this one. I like this one. Yeah, yeah. Come on. 10 at least. You got to get 10. 10 tickets. There we go. Yo, 11. Let's go. I I'm not even going to do that because I suck at that one. Uh, we'll do this one. Do the random drop. Go. Five tickets. Let's do that again. Drop. 10 tickets. Okay. 
50. Go for 50. That's five. That's five. That's five. <laughs> that's 20. Or no, that's 15. I'm trying to get 50, dude. That's five. That's five. That's five. That's 15. My man, I have like 400 tickets. What can I buy from you? 2,500 tickets for all these? Oh my god, dude. You have to like sit here for hours just to play this this damn... this To, to get those games. My god. Or get those uh, prizes. It's like the real Chuck E. Cheese, dude. There we go. We'll have that. Have a nice cookie. There we go. Okay, let's walk out. So, lubricant... Machine lubricant... Let's 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 be let's be fair there. Like let's let's be straight. Lubricant and boxes is something we have. Now there is somebody over here that we don't have a quest for that kind of just floated in my head. That's just this guy right here. I don't think we've we've talked to this guy, right? Well we have, but we haven't gotten his relationship all the way, I don't think. So what the hell did you just say to me? Man, I thought I already met just about every freak in Lunatic, but they just keep coming. There we go. All right, halt. I have a proposition for you. Sounds like fun. What is it? This is a G5 classified... <laughs> this is a G5 classified task. I'm crafting an experimental human augmentation that requires certain hardware that I have been unable to locate. Even with my advanced neural augmentations, my search has turned up on only false positives. There is 94.68% probability that these parts are located in an underground utility tunnel accessible through the sewer. If you complete this task successfully, I will supply you with a reward in the currency of your preference. Of our preference, really. What do you sell, my man? You sell a plushie for $11? I could have got it cheaper from you than the monster. Coffee pods we haven't tried. I'm actually, I'm actually gonna buy some coffee pods. Uh, a bed for 285. Not interested. A chair for 57. That, that might be cheaper than usual. Some freaking egg rolls. I love that. Okay, so down here, I'm, I, I, I think is what he's talking about. These sewers, not the uh, other sewers. Hopefully, maybe. I don't know. We're gonna find out together. He's looking for something. Now, I didn't see if there was like 0, 05 or 0, 01 or whatever, whatnot. But, um, yeah, let's look down here regardless. It might be at the other sewer place. The, um, the actual. Well, this isn't like. This isn't called sewers. That's the problem, right? The problem is that these are not called sewers. So, I wonder if his quest has to do with. Let's see, if it has to do with the drawbridge from the monster, maybe? Like, by the monster? Maybe. I'm not sure. Hmm. Okay, I'm, I'm like going the wrong way. But I'm gonna check through here anyways. I mean, we do need to get more loot as it stands. We're running low on food and we're running low on drinks. I know, I know, I know. I can buy them at the marketplace. I know. Believe me. Believe me. We've been over that a million times. But what's better than having something for free? Right? There you go. Sanity helps right there. Cigarettes. That will help our sanity. Um, yeah, I, you know, I think free stuff is fun. <laughs> we all love free stuff, right? Do we go in here? We did, didn't we? That's weird. Let's go this way. Maybe take a right to a left. I'm ass backwards, dude. <laughs> I'm ass backwards. There's so many things. I so turns and I, I get so confused down there. And then we end up over here when I think we're ending up over there. I don't know. Uh, so that's fine. Um, we already did the mission in there. Now there's the hotel, I guess. The hotel. Now, unless people are thinking this is the hotel, that is not the hotel. That is the Poshmark. It's a suite. But we can actually, hang on a sec, let me see. We can actually rent a hotel room, right? Hotel. Oh, wait, wait, hang on a sec. Mars suite, Neptune suite, Venus suite, Saturn suite. So the difference of all these is the color. Let's actually rent one of these for $100. I know it's like pointless, but I'm kind of like interested. 
Achievement unlocked, check in. Well, at least we got an achievement for it. Let's look at this. Let's go um, Lunar Suites. Thank you for choosing Lunar Suites. Your suite number is 1005. Hope you have a wonderful stay. Okay, so Lunar Suites? Is that an actual place that I haven't, like... Never mind. It's right here. <laughs> it's right here. So I'm going into the hotel. I guess the only hotel in the game. And we're going to see if there's any NPCs in here. I don't know. We've never been in this room. We've never been in the Lunar Suites before. And I kind of just spent $100 just to see what it is, really. And that's all I'm really checking it out for. Kind of have money to burn for the most part, right? Oh. There is NPCs here. This is Natasha, right? That is Natasha. Hello. How are you? Samira Noon. We have never met. Concierge. It will be a pleasure to serve you today. Oh. Wow. It smells amazing in here. <laughs> uh, this is the most... Um, pretentious looking hotel I've ever seen in my life is this the height of your career folding towels and staring at a computer screen okay she likes that uh, doesn't it it's a wonderful place to stay this place doesn't even have a bar get <laughs> okay if there's no swimming pool if there's not a swimming pool in this hotel I'm leaving immediately I was hoping a fitness room in this hotel but I guess I'll run laps in the hallway you can relax in the room with a hot shower too I book a room I'd book a room, but I'm scared of elevators. Can I sleep in your in the lobby instead? Where am I supposed to book a room? Isn't that what you're here for? I'll probably get lost in here. Maybe I should just sleep on the sidewalk. Okay. If you need to book a room, just use our smartphone app. I can help you with anything else. So what's your story anyways? How did you end up here? I'm headed out to the club in a minute. Want to come with me? I don't need a hotel, but I have a place around the corner. Want to have a drink? What's your story? She loves that. Okay. Thank you for asking. I grew up running a hostel, hostel with my family in the Middle East. I love helping people. I love you. Bye. <laughs> what a splendid chat. You are fantastic. Wait, I need help with something. Can you help me? Of course. What's that? I'm so glad that you can help me. I've got a, I got my hands full here, and there's a lot of block of sweets in our hotel that have lost electricity. There are a number of electrical boxes that will need to be fixed. If you can restore power to our suites, I will reward you. Okay. We can do that. How's your chair game? Pretty good. Like, croissant? I'll buy that. Yeah. Cookie? No. Okay. All right. So her... The, I love the music here. It's very calming. So, electrical utility issues. wonder if that's anywhere here or if it's literally outside somewhere else. I'm not sure. We're going to find out, I guess, together. Oh, look at this. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I love it. This is a really cool visual. That's pretty hard to do. That's pretty tricky to do. Because sometimes people use um, elevators as a, um, like a loading screen, right? Like a load, like, I thought we rented that place out. Oh, it's a thousand and five. Oh, wow. Look at this place. This place is like better than my own house. And the view. Well, actually, I take it back. My house is better. But nonetheless, this place looks really cool. We can actually use this right now. We'll use the toilet and we'll use the shower. I kind of dig this. I kind of dig the hotel. Neptune. The Neptune suite. Wow. I'm digging it. I am definitely digging it. But that's going to do it in today's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, please make sure you hit that like. As we have a lot to look forward to. A lot of quests to do. And a lot of people to talk to. And cocaine to sell in the next episode. So thank you guys so much for stopping by and hanging out with me today. As we play a little bit of Metro Sim. And I will see you in tomorrow's episode. As always, do take care. This is for all of you. Not just a song to listen to. Something to give you hope to hang on to. I